Hi, this is PR Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report, sponsored by Delta Dot Exchange. Uh, I am in Dubai uh, for some personal visit. So for the next two weeks, I'll be here. So we may not be able to do a video shoot. So maybe for the next few two weeks, uh, only the podcast will be there. And today morning also, my flight uh, from Delhi to Dubai got delayed. So that's why I could not do the pre-market report. So since morning, you know, not only since morning and Friday night itself, SGX Nifty indicated above 18,000. And today market opened higher. And uh, what was very surprising, throughout the day, the market was trading with a uh, stability. There was no intraday volatility at all. And most importantly, today, uh, both HDFC and HDFC Bank. So in fact, I would say today is the day of HDFC twins. And these two stocks contributed to the maximum number of points for Nifty's rally. And other than that, you know, you can see there was some kind of a pressure like in PSU banks, uh, they were not doing really very well, but despite market shooting up so much. Looking at the open interest, and people are doing 18,000 short straddle and people have become so bullish and uh, people have sold 179, 78, 17, 7 put option and also 18,100, 18,200 call option also. Uh, so people, you know, once 18,000 is crossed and people expect some kind of a consolidation. And today is 31st October. so. In the October month, Nifty has rallied nearly 1,200 points. So people, at least for the next few days, people are expecting some kind of consolidation. But again, we will never know what will happen in US and uh, as a consequence, what will happen to Asian markets. But so far, the US markets are so resilient. And on Friday also, before the US market opened, the US futures were very, very, very low because of some disappointing results. But after the market opened, NASDAQ has shot up nearly 600, 700 points. And Dow, I think now more than 10% higher from the recent low. As long as US markets are looking good and uh, there is no reason for other markets to do badly, so dollar index is coming down, US dollar uh, is uh, slightly depreciating. More importantly, US VIX is coming down. It was sub stubbornly above 30 for a long time, but for the past few days, so it keeps coming down. So that is some good news. And for us, on a closing basis, Nifty closing above 18,000, uh, I would say it is something to celebrate. That's because, you know, our all-time high is uh, around 18,600. So that is just 600 points away. So that's only oddly 3%. And corporate results are mixed. Today I've seen uh, Tata still coming out with a very bad result. But that has already been factored in because, you know, earlier JSW still also came out with bad result. And uh, Vedanta also came out with bad result. Now Tata still. So I would think that, so it has already been factored in. And Bharti Artel came out with excellent result. And Larson and Tubro came out with decent result. So, uh, aeroplane is flying over my head okay, as I'm talking in the open space uh, in Dubai. So, uh, by looking at things, you know, uh, U.S. futures are slightly lower, so I think, you know, uh, markets, we can expect market to consolidate for some more time, uh, at least for a few days, and uh, if there is no significant profit booking uh, after 18,000, then definitely it's a matter of time, all-time high will be crossed. And surprisingly, 
uh, domestic institutions are also not booking any profit. Okay. So they are also net buyers. Uh, but FIAs are lapping up shares like anything. Today, FIAs have bought shares worth more than 4,000 crores. That was really, really surprising. Uh, it was not surprising to me because, you know, since morning HDFC, so this HDFC, HDFC Bank. So these two stocks only uh, decided the market trend uh, for the last one year. You know, HDFC was going to 3,000, then coming back to 2,000, you know, now it is coming again closer to 2,500. Same way, HDFC Bank also has come closer to uh, 2,000, 1,500. So, all in all, it's a good market and a stable market. And our VIX is uh, today, first time, after a long time, uh, came below 16. And remember, if it is below 15, uh, it is surely a bull market. So, we are just uh, one point uh, of VIX away from bull market. So, anyway, so this is a trend. So, trend is up. So, just write the trend. So, I keep selling the put options. I think last time I told you I'm selling put options 16,800 and below, then shifted 17,000 and below. Today I shifted 17,200 and below. And uh, call option, you know, I'm selling only 18,600 and above. That's because that's where the all time high is there. Definitely some kind of selling pressure will come around that price. So again, how US market is going to pan out, plus how uh, corporate results. So these things will decide our market direction. So I could not do much of a research uh, today. That's because, you know, I was too tired uh, after a hectic traveling. So hope I give better report tomorrow evening. Hope you enjoyed listening to this audio podcast. Thank you for listening. <laughs>